hello guys welcome to my channel bread of life kitchen if it's your first time coming across my video please subscribe thumbs up share and like and turn off the red bell notification anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified and for those of you that have subscribed to my channel thank you so much i love you so guys today i'm going to make nigeria stew with assorted meat so let's get started so guys these are my ingredients so i'm using um, goat meat this is my beef meat i have my turkey here and i have my chicken then i have my uh, red bell pepper my scotch bonnet i have my tomato spring i have my um, chicken seasoning i have my curry and my thyme together and I have my uh, oregano I have my nutmeg here, grounded nutmeg I have my shaki I have my uh, cow leg and then um, I have my onions I have four large onions you know guys I love onions so much so I'm using four then I have my uh, ginger and garlic so if you don't want to add this to your ingredient it doesn't matter so this is what I'm using and I have my two bay leaves here so let's get started okay guys now i have my tomatoes in here with my scotch bonnet so i'm going to um, blend my bell pepper and one onions so i will leave the other onions for the to marinate my meat so this is just it so guys this is the tomatoes i blended it already with the red bell pepper and the scotch bonnet so i would like to simmer for about 25 minutes so we would like to simmer to remove the excess water from it so this is our meat i have the, the chicken and all in so guys uh, at least i forgot this is uh, shaki i parboil it for like uh, 10 minutes to remove uh, there are some tissues that is coming out from it, some kind of whitish tissue when you boil it. So I don't normally uh, leave it. I remove it, you know, I just wash it again, make it clean so that we know what we are taking in with the goat meat. So I, this is the second time I'm washing it. So now I'm going to incorporate it to the other meat in the pot. I already have my beef meat and the chicken in there and they will wash them and cow legs also. So we are going to boil all together with the spices and the, the uh, herbs in there the oregano, the curry powder the seasoning and the salt to taste so we are going to allow this to boil for like um, 20 minutes so let's get started guys okay guys this is my um, tomato, uh, my, I mean my onions my ginger and my uh, garlic so to season the the mix is a lot of flavor in there so we're going to allow to simmer as i earlier said for 25 minutes with these onions it will give it a nice taste very juicy chicken beef and all to go you know so guys so our whole chicken is ready i'm going to put the chicken and the turkey in the oven then the cow leg is tender very soft and tender and the shaki then also with the beef meat the beef meat and the goat meat is also ready i'm going to fry my goat meat on the fire and the beef because i like the the beef and the goat meat to infuse inside the oil yeah. i'm doing this because i like the oil the goat meat to infuse inside the oil Make the chicken taste more better. Wow, smells divine, amazing. Yeah, this is our stew, our meat for our stew. So this oil will be used for frying the tomatoes also. So while this is frying, it will infuse inside the oil. We will make the oil. Uh, I mean our chicken while we fry our uh, stew in here to make it taste better so that's why I'm doing it mm. it smells so nice 
amazing. It's my divine. Hey guys, still on my frying. I'm still frying the meat. You see, I just added some uh, shark inside. You know, I'm taking this to, to another level. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's fun to be in the kitchen, you know, looking for one's family, loved ones, you know. I'm so, so, so happy. So, this shaki will also give us another flavor. You know what I mean? The buka type. That is it. So, just having fun, you know. Fun, fun, fun. So I fried this my meat for five minutes. So I'm going to pack them out now. So we allow the the oil to get heated again for another five minutes so that we can fry our our stew. Just try it. Try it at home, you know. Make a change always. We have a lot of recipe for stew. So this is another very simple and easy type flavorful pack, you know, you know what I mean, <laughs> guys, I'm so excited, thank you, Lord, the faithful God, yeah, this is how I want my meat to be, like this, so right now, I'm going to leave this oil here, to get heated a bit, let's say, five minutes, so before we start our uh, frying our stew so not too much okay just five minutes okay or two minutes more or less okay guys guys our oil is hot enough you can see uh, look at the puree tomatoes are so nice so i like it like this not too thick i'm going to fry our oil uh, onions now onions to get burned so at this juncture I'm going to add the puree give it the red color you see it's so red the red is so vibrant so keep stirring so I'm going to add a little bit of um, curry powder to it So guys, I'm going to add my curry powder. Mmm, smells so nice. So I'm going to add my tomato paste, my tomato puree. minutes and I'm going to add my my broth for it yeah, it's not okay. so I'm going to allow it to simmer for another 20 minutes 15 20 minutes and I'm going to add my bay leaf to it yeah just remember that now wow Mmm, so nice. So I'm going to uh, 
add our egg leaf now for more flavor. So nice. So nice. the vine. So red. allow to simmer for just five minutes before I add all our meats all our sorted meat in there so I reduce the heat so that it doesn't get burnt you don't have that um, bitterness because if it get burnt we won't don't like it hello guys as you can see now when the stew is ready you see the oil comes up so many the stew is ready wow so now I'm going to add my meat, beef meat, all the meat in here, like so. The stew is so tasty. So this stew you can eat with rice. We are going to eat with rice. So you can eat with your bread, your plantain, yam alongside with um, a wedding soup it's vegetable soup you can go with anything you know so i'm going to add my onions i have my spring onions wow i like it so much for more flavor so i'm going to add all the onions to the pot now the stew is ready So I'll allow to simmer for another two minutes before I'll add my chicken and my turkey in there. Hi guys, our chicken, our turkey is ready. So sorry, I forgot to add our fish. Of course, our mackerel fish is here. You know, so I'm going to add all the meat inside the, the sauce, the tomato stew. So it's good to go. You guys for coming along we love you so much thank you for your patience thank you so much subscribe to my channel bread of life kitchen thank you so much guys we had a wonderful day today you know this is a simple recipe of a, a stew with assorted meat feel free to choose any meat of your choice so at this uh, junction, I'm going to take off the bay leaves. Take off the bay leaves. I don't want to put in the turkey, you know. I keep the turkey aside because it's a soft meat. I don't want it all around inside my stew. So when the kids are going to eat, I'm putting it one by one for them. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm so grateful. Subscribe to my channel as I earlier said. Help my channel to grow. Like, give me a thumbs up. You know, there's a session, uh, comment section below. Comment, then uh, subscribe. 